Thank you. Senator Kennedy. Thank you, uh, Madam Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Secretary, for being here. How many cases of coronavirus do we have right now in the United States? Well, we have uh, 14 cases plus an additional, um, I believe it's 20 or 30 some odd cases that we uh, have uh, repatriated back into the U.S. from uh, a number of cruise ships. And how many are you anticipating? Again, uh, we're working with HHS uh, to, to determine that. How many are you anticipate? We do anticipate the number will grow. I don't, I don't have an exact figure for you, though. Do you have an estimate? Is someone, is someone modeling that? Do you have any way of guessing? Uh, again, HHS, through their medical professionals, well, yes, are... Well, yes, but you're head of Homeland Security, yes, sir. and your job is to keep us safe. Yes, sir. Do you know today how many uh, the experts are predicting? Uh, only, uh, we only know that, again, we anticipate those numbers to grow in the U.S. That's why we're making sure that our operations, again, at our airports, land ports, and elsewhere are but, flexible. But you can't tell us how many your models are anticipating. Uh, no, Senator. Again, I would, I would defer you to the uh, Health and Human Services for that. Okay. CDC. Don't you think you ought to check on that? We will. As the head of Homeland Security? Absolutely. And again, we have task force members that are working this on every I'm, day. I'm, I'm all so, for committees and task forces. So we're coordinating with them but, to make sure that our operations... You're the secretary. I think you ought to know that answer. I understand that. Um, how, is, how is the coronavirus, tra coronavirus transmitted? Uh, through a, a variety of ways. Um, obviously, human to human, we, we've seen that. Uh, and again, we're making sure that those procedures, as they come into the U.S., are medically screened so that we can identify those How folks. is it transmitted? A variety of different ways, Senator. Tell me what they are, please. Again, human to human uh, is what we've well, obviously primarily human seen. human to human, how? Uh, being in the same vicinity, uh, physical contact is usually uh, what we've seen from the medical cases that we've seen here in the U.S. Uh, we've had uh, several, I think two to three, uh, human to human cases that have showed up here in the U.S. So it's those that are closest to those individuals uh, that have that human contact. Um, what's the mortality rate so far nationwide I, I believe or it's worldwide? Worldwide, I believe it's under 2%. How, how much under 2%? I, I'll get you an exact figure. I'll, I'll check with CDC on their monitoring uh, the worldwide mortality rate, and I, will, I can get that for you. But you don't know the mortality rate today? It, it changes daily, Senator. Well, I understand that. Given What's about the it, average since we discovered the virus? Again, I, it's under 2%. It was as high as it, 3. Numbers were recalculated based on reporting from China. Is it between and 1 and a half and 2? It's between 1 and a half and 2%. Okay. What's the mortality rate for influenza over the last, say, 10 years in America? Uh, it's also uh, right around that percentage as well. I don't have that offhand, but it's uh, sure right around 2% as well. You sure of that? It's a little bit. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, do we have enough respirators? To my knowledge, we do. I'm focused on making sure that our operators at, at DHS make sure that they have the protective equipment. I know HHS, uh, as part of the supplemental, well, I... We I, just heard testimony that we don't. Testimony from... In a briefing. Okay. So d your head on... For, for medical professionals or for... for Sorry, You're I don't head understand of Homeland Security. Do we have enough respirators or not? For patients, I, I, I don't understand the question. For everybody, every American who needs one who gets the disease. Uh, again, I would refer you to HHS on that. Mr. Secretary, my you're, budget you're, supports, you're, you're supposed to keep us safe. My budget supports the men and women you're of the, the Department Secretary of Homeland Security. You're the Secretary of Homeland Security. Yes, sir. And you can't tell me if we have enough respirators. What I would tell you is that the budget, my budget, our operations are focused not only on the men and women of DHS, making sure they're protected to do their jobs, to screen individuals coming in. We're working with HHS, CDC, you don't know. and their budget the to ensure that they have enough medical do equipment. Do we have enough face masks? We, uh, for the Department of Homeland Security, we I'm do. I'm not asking for the Department of Homeland Security. Are you looking? I'm asking for the American people. For the, for the entire American public? Yes. No, I would say probably not. Okay, how short are we? I, I don't have that number offhand, Senator. I will get that for you. Okay. But, but I want to be sure I understand. You, somebody. Yes, sir. Is doing modeling. Yes, sir. On how many cases we're anticipating. Yes, sir. Just not aware of that. You're asking me a number of medical questions that I'm asking CDC you questions because your Secretary of the Department on. of Homeland Security. 
and you're supposed to keep us safe. Yes, sir. And you need to know the answers to these questions. And how far away are we from getting a vaccine? In uh, several months. Well, that's not what we just heard testimony about. Okay. Who's on first here? HHS is What's the lead on federal agency for the coronavirus response. You, you're telling me we're months away from having a vaccine. That's your testimony as, Chair, as Secretary of Homeland Security. What I have been told by HHS and CDC, yes. And you, have you probed that to make sure that's accurate? Yes. We continue. Uh, every day we have task force meetings with those individuals and elsewhere talking about a number of these well, your issues. numbers aren't the same as CDC's. Then I would, I would certainly defer to CDC on our medical questions. Well, don't you think you ought to contact them and find out whether you're right or we're they're in, right? We're in contact with them every day on, this on our task force. But you don't know why you have a discrepancy. I would refer you to the CDC Mr. on specific questions. Mr. Secretary, questions. I'm going to hush here. You're, you're supposed to keep us safe, and the American people Senator deserve some straight answers on the coronavirus. And Senator, I'm not I, getting them from you. I, I disagree. That's all I have, Madam Chair.